Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's vlog I am here in Birmingham. I'm staying here for three nights at the Bullring Travel Lodge. The plan for this trip is another little solo adventure. Today I'm going to be going to the Sea Life Centre and also doing some shopping. I arrived here yesterday. Uh, yesterday was just a very chill day. I just like settled in the hotel and I also went to the local Weatherspoons. It's in Chinatown, the Dragon Inn. Would definitely recommend. It's very pretty there. I shall insert a few clips of exploring that. <laughs> to the Sea Life Centre, I'm going to give you a little room tour. So, this room is a standard room. So I am in room 421 on the fourth floor. Last night I slept pretty well. I didn't hear much traffic to say that it's in like the centre of Birmingham. It was pretty quiet. So, as we walk in, we've got a place to put your key card there. Bathroom toilet, sink, stuff, shower, oh yes it's all very clean, very nice, radiator, TV, nice big double bed, a nice mirror, also you get a desk with two bins, one for recycling, one for regular waste, a chair and something that I didn't know is that you also get a kettle in the room. So I've got a little kettle with two mugs, two spoons, tea, coffee, milk and lamp. This is my view from the room. So the time is, the time is 12 o'clock. So my time for the Sea Life Centre is at 2 p.m. The plan for today is I'm going to go to Pizza Hut, treat myself to a nice big lunch, pizza, unlimited salad, yes please, and then we're going to head to the Sea Life Centre. I did look at the best way to get to the Sea Life Centre. Walking's about 30 minutes, which would be okay, but I don't know where, where I am, like I don't know Birmingham that well. So I found another route, which was to get the tram. So you can get the tram from Grand Central Station to Brindley, Brindley, is it Brindley Place or something? Brindley Place, that's right, I was just checking. Um, so it's about 10 minutes on the tram and it's a two minute walk away from the Sea Life Centre. So that's good. Um, I downloaded the My Metro app, which is where you can get your tram ticket from. I got an off-peak return for £3.20. Right, so let's go to Pizza Hut. So I've got myself a little table. We've got to scan the QR code. I'm table number 21. I'm gonna get the lunch deal. So I've just been up to the buffet and I got a slice of Hawaiian, ham and pineapple, two margaritas, and a salad bowl to start me off with the water. Cheers, everyone. Mmm, croutons. Yummy. Pot World. Has anyone ever been to Pot World before? I've heard many things about that place. So the time is... 10 to 2. Let's see how long it takes me to walk around. I'm really just going to enjoy myself and like take my time. Oh look the penguins! Please <laughs> 
special hide to see what a nest looks like. I'm going to touch a starfish. Just one finger super gentle just right there. I touched a starfish and it was actually quite rough to be honest with you. It had rough skin. Oh, they're beautiful. To the right of me is the VR experience, but I'm not doing that today. Welcome to Jellyfish Invaders. Upside down jellyfish. <gasps> Aren't they unusual? They kind of look like aliens. <sighs> Older than a T-Rex. How much is it for a treat in the vendor machine? Dairy milk buttons, £1.20. <gasps> Dairy milk buttons, £3.50. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so cool. It's so weird being in like the 360 tunnel. This is so cool. Thank you. 
going so quick. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh, it's a travel pillow. Which one? Which one does Chester start? Which teddy bear do you want? Which one? 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 So there we go, end of the Sea Life Centre. What time are we on? 3.16, so that's taken me an hour and 16 minutes to walk around. I have never seen one of these before. A bug hotel. Yeah. Right, time to get the tram back. I'm in need of a cup of tea. everyone it's been a few days i'm back at home now and i had a great time at the sea life center it's a really nice sea life center you can tell that they really take good care of the animals and i'll always like support that um all the enclosures were really like well kept look after the glass was clear it was really good to take photos so yeah i would definitely recommend that hope that you enjoyed coming along with me if you did give me a thumbs up and also subscribe because it's free for you and it just notifies you of when i make another video so yeah i shall see you in my next one take care everyone bye